Another look at Audiosity here. Um, and we're going to be working with uh, basically combining two tracks or two songs uh, in this application. Once again, I apologize if the audio isn't that great. Uh, I'm just recording here and I have my speakers turned up so you can hear the audio from the program since I can't seem to get it to work with Jack D quite right. So anyway, we got the program here. Once again, I'm going to go File, Import, and I'm going to load an audio file. And once again, I'll just grab uh, Blue Scorpion here. Once that's done loading, I'm going to go and I'm going to import another audio file. And this time I'll import uh, Killing Time, which is uh, by the same artist. And uh, so we got the two tracks here. So if I press play, it's going to start playing both tracks. Lower the volume down a little bit. Uh, and uh, what if you don't want the two tracks? What if I'm trying to have go from one song to another? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this track. Whoops, wrong tool. Control Z to undo. I'm going to choose our selection tool up here. Uh, I'm going to select this track. I'm going to delete everything past this. So I'm going to highlight and press delete. And then I'm going to come here. And a little bit before that, I'm going to highlight and delete on the second audio. And I hit delete. Now you notice it moved in. So uh, if I didn't want, if I want that back over there, what I can do is I can grab this tool, the time shift tool. And I can grab and I can move this back out like this if I wanted. And at this point, I'm going to once again grab my selection tool up here. And I'm going to grab and highlight this selection right here. And I'm going to say fade out. And I'm going to do the same thing but going this way. And I'm going to go effects fade in. So now if I come to about here, I can click on the time track and press play. We get the one song going. And it will slowly fade out as the other song fades in. Now that wasn't the greatest mix, these two songs aren't mixing very well. Um, obviously there's time shift things you can do uh, to fix that, uh, which we're not getting in today. Man, I'm just looking at how to manipulate different tracks. So now I can grab my time shift tool here and I can once again, as I said, I can slide this. I can even slide it, as you can see, before, if I wanted to move a song off before the, the track begins, I can do that. And I can move it out here. So that's our time shift tool, and our selection tool, the two tools we looked at today. Um, and uh, that's kind of the, the basis of it. But at this point, like I said, you're working with multiple tracks here. Let's say you're in the middle of a project and you want to come back and work on it later. This time you're going to use Save Project, where last time we just exported the audio because we were pretty much done. But if we uh, save as a project, or we can save project or save project as, either way, depending on whether you already have it named or not, it tells you that it's going to be saving in basically an AUP, which is an Audiosity uh, file. We'll click OK, and we'll just choose a place to save that. I'm just going to save it in my temp folder, and uh, it automatically wants to name it as name as the first file I imported, uh, which is fine, or you can rename it, and I'll click Save. And basically, that's just saving that information. Now, if those audio files uh, get moved, they won't. You know, if you delete the two MP3s that we imported and then you go open up that file, it's going to go, ah, oh, where are those files? There's a fix for that that I'll show in a future video. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you give uh, Audiosity a try, whether you're running Linux or Windows. And I still have to check to see if it runs in Mac. Have a great day and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.